Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $110,531.06. In the past year, I am up $37,430.75. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $18,344.30. Today was a green day for me. I was up $1,208.18 during the day. After hours, I am down $206.04. So overall, up about $1,000 today. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $723. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $36. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $64. I'm selling. Delta Airlines, $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $120. I'm selling Disney, $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $1,060.02. I'm selling SoFi, $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $1,344. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, $280. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,203. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $900. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $2,526. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $182.25. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, I am down $903.11. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.37. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $17,028.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $92.67. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $10,068. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $151.20. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, I am down $330.49. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $50.93. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, $80.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,999.75. My margin used is $77,077.46. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with $14,922.29 in buying power.
My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $41,585.46. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.79. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So today, I just want to give a quick update on how my portfolio is going and uh, a bunch of my positions expiring on October 18th, which is about 10 days from now. I want to give a quick status update on them. So, for example, my Amazon 180, 185 covered calls right now, Amazon is slightly below 185 It's at 182. So if it stays this way. I'm going to keep my shares of Amazon at expiration and then I'll just collect some money from the covered calls. Next up, we're moving on to Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines, I chose strike price of $49. Right now, Delta Airlines is above $49. So if it's above $49 at expiration, then my shares will get called away and I'll still make some money from the covered calls. And then Disney, $95 uh, strike price. Right now, Disney is at $92.67, so slightly below. So if it stays this way at expiration, then I'll keep my shares of Disney and I'll end up making a profit from the covered calls. SoFi, SoFi strike price of $8. Right now, SoFi is above $8. It's at $8.37. So if this happens at expiration where SoFi is above $8 per share, then my shares will get called away. Um, I'll still make some money, but I actually do want to keep my shares of SoFi, so I might rule it out. And then Target, strike price of $150. Right now, it's above $150. It's at $151. So if it's above 151 expiration, then my shares of target will get called away and I end up with some profit from uh, the covered call. If we backtrack a little bit, go back to Amazon. So right now I have basically an iron condor and in order to make the max profit, I need Amazon to stay between 140 and 200. So right now it is between 140 and 200 is at 182. So I want it to stay within that range at expiration 10 days from now. So we'll see where it ends up on October 18th. But for now, it is still within that range that I want. And I think that's all the updates I want to give. Um, not really anything big. I've been hovering around 110K for a while now. It hasn't really dipped a whole lot down and it hasn't really jumped a whole lot up. Um, it's been kind of hovering around this value for a while now, but I'm happy about that. I'd rather be at 110k than at like 85k errors, you know. But yeah, everything I think is going pretty smoothly, going pretty well, and I'll just keep an eye out on how my positions are doing uh, from now until the 18th when they expire all of these positions here expire on the 18th. All right, that's it for this portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys like this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll keep on making more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.